टुडे वील डिस्कस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम नर्वस सिस्टम डेवलप फ्रॉम थ्री सोर्सेस द डोर्जली प्लेस न्यूरल ट्यूब विच गिव्स राइज टू द मोस्ट ऑफ द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम न्यूरल क्रेस्ट सेल्स विच गिव राइज टू द मोस्ट ऑफ द पेरिफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड न्यूरो एपिथेलियल सेल्स इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू द सर्फेस एक्टोडम विच आर नोन एज एक्टोडर्मल प्लेकॉट्स which give rise to the some part of peripheral nervous system so let us see the development of the neural tube this is ectoderm this is mesoderm this is endoderm and here is notochord now at the end of prosomate period under the inductive influence of notochord the neuroectodermal cells dorsal to notochord become thick and form an elongated sleeper shaped neural plate or a medullary plate the lateral end of this neural plate gets elevated and form the neural folds due to formation of neural folds a longitudinal groove appear in the neural or medullary plate which is now known as neural groove neural groove extends in mid dorsal line from primitive or hensen's node up to the buccopharyngeal membrane tips of neural folds are bordered by specialized neuroectodermal cells which are known as neural crest cells they are continuous with the surface ectoderm the neural folds now fuse dorsally so the neural groove is converted into a neural tube the fusion of neural folds starts somewhere in the fourth somatic region and from here it extends in both the direction cranially and caudally until a temporary openings remain at the cephalic and caudal ends of the neural tube this cephalic opening is known as anterior neuropore and the caudal opening is known as posterior neuropore through this anterior and posterior neuropore it communicates with the amniotic cavity so amniotic fluid circulates through anterior and posterior neuropore and provides nutrition to the neural tube until the blood vascular system is developed the anterior neuropore closes at about middle of the fourth week at about 20 somatic period and the posterior neuropore closes at the end of fourth week at about 25 somatic stage position of anterior neuropore in adults is represented by lamina terminalis of third ventricle now the fusion of neural fold takes place in such a manner that the like cells will fuse with the liked ones so that dorsal surface of neural tube now gets detached from the surface ectoderm and the space between them are occupied by a neural crest cells after the formation of neural tube due to the differences in the rate of growth and expansion in its wall the cephalic part of the neural tube develops three successive dilatations known as primary brain vesicles these are forebrain midbrain and hindbrain vesicles separated by circular constrictions these vesicles lead to the development of the different parts of brain and their cavities form the ventricular system as well as cerebral aqueduct whereas caudal part of the neural tube remains cylindrical in shape which leads to the development of the spinal cord and its cavity forms the central canal of spinal cord if anterior neuropores fail to close it leads to a congenital anomaly known as anencephaly in this the nervous tissue is exposed to surface as a degenerated mass and the consequently the cranial vault is absent the appearance of fetus is typical with prominent eyes chin added to the chest due to absence of neck due to this swallowing reflex does not develop so the anencephalic fetus is usually associated with the hydro hydramnios